Good. Hello, guys. Nice to see you all. Uh, today, I will be providing you with uh, information about our new products that you can find on our website, but also you can buy them from us. This is a few new devices that we was able to uh, release. There was many more, but the problem was with um, uh, with all this, what's happening in the world with uh, uh, coronavirus, and yeah, but we still was able to uh, start uh, produce production with uh, our new solutions, new devices that we will I will show you today. My name is Krzysztof Wojciechowski, and uh, yeah, I'm working in technical department, and I'm happy to do this webinar for you. Also with me, there is a Łukasz Woźniak. He will be helping me with all the questions that you have in our chat. Uh, so always you can ask anything about uh, all our products, but also meaning of life and all the many different happy things. Uh, of course, today we will be mo mostly talking about um, our new devices, but also with this because I'm technician, I will try to show you a few things that we, you can, what you can do with our new, uh, for example, radio controllers. So more like um, so some few information, but also a little bit technical from my, at least from my side. Okay, guys. So if we all ready and comfy, we can start the, uh, this presentation. All right, so we start with the, I think, one of the biggest one. Uh, this is new radio controller RK, uh, from the RK series. This is our new approach for all the devices, uh, for all the um, radio controllers that we have in our offer for the many, many years. It looks something like this. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, um, there are different versions of it all looks almost exactly the same. The difference is in the amount of relays. So we have 1K, 2K, and 4K. And uh, of course, a uh, little bit different with the additional antennas, but about it a little later on. So this type of device will be sold with this um, enclosure. And uh, of course, uh, it will support all our uh, old versions of the key fobs. So you know, uh, as you see on the picture, you, you, you will see that we have a R uh, RK unit as the controller. We have uh, T versions of our key fobs from T1, T2, and T4. This is the in the middle, the black ones. I would say more like the gray ones uh, or dark gray. And then we have MPT350. This is our module for... Um, uh, this is our key fob for uh, Perfecta, mostly, of course. So we have four different uh, types of uh, controller. So RK, it means this is the line of the product. 1K, 2K, 4K means amount of relays. And you will see that there is a one more RK, 4K, SMA. It means that it has also SMA connector on board. So you can connect any kind of additional uh, external um, antenna connected on the SMA. And this is mostly because if you put RK uh, controller inside like metal box, for example, any kind of gate controller or a gate enclosure that you will see there, they are mostly metallic one, so the transmission, radio transmission from inside is very hard to go outside. So you can add a SMA antenna and then you will be able to control it and move this antenna outside of the uh, metal enclosure of the gate. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so there is, you need to just remember about one thing that uh, in the set, there is no antenna on SMA. You will need to purchase this additional antenna by yourself, depending on the length of the cable and, of course, type of antenna that you wanted to use. But in mo in many cases, you will find that producers of the gates also support you with the different types of antenna as the sets or as the controllers. So you will be able to do it 
um, with uh, with them to use SME connector for it. <clears throat> okay, so the in the um, yeah, so in here you'll see comparison between old version of the modules uh, of the controllers and the new ones. So on the left side we have old versions, on the right side new ones. Uh, old versions so R E uh, R E K 4K and lower R X 4K and R X H 4K. Um, big difference between them is uh, I think first of all the supply volt uh, supply voltage. So previous one works mainly on 12 volts uh, DC, but right now our new RK modules works from 12 to 24 DC and 24 AC. So it means it's more compatible with the power supply that you can find inside gates or the devices that you want to control. And of course, this will uh, decrease the cost of additional power supply that you need to provide for the older versions. So in this case, you are at, uh, already are a uh, one step uh, ahead. Then uh, relay outputs, it's only one A, uh, one ampere for 24 volts uh, DC, but in many cases you don't need to you don't need to have more because one ampere for the controlling gates uh, or anything else, it's more than enough uh, than you will see. Uh, range, yes, we also increased by the using new antennas and new uh, chip set uh, for the radio communication. Uh, we was able to provide with the bigger signal strength in the pe depending on the type of the devices. So you will see that uh, with the T4, so all the T uh, key fobs is around 340 meters and MPT 350 is 270. But you will see that uh, also on the right side, especially in uh, in here, you will see that if you use as SMA antenna, you will be able to even uh, go to up to uh, 540 meters. So it's quite half of the kilometer. It's quite well, quite nice. Um, so it's more than enough, I think, for the most cases. So it depends, of course, of the type of antenna that you are using. The tape, uh, the uh, it will be this type of range. Of course, this is just uh, uh, some of the antennas on the market. It's not produced by us, but still, you can try to find them, and then you will have more or less uh, in here. Uh, okay, guys, give me one second. Uh, Today is day full of problems, of technical problems, I see. Give me one second. I see that someone is trying to call me even right now. This is the best case scenario, but I will try to turn it off. Today is a beautiful day. Okay, do you see anything right now in the presentation? Or it's still dark. Okay, guys. On my uh, preview, I see everything fine. Okay, it's come back. Okay, guys. Sorry for it, but today I think this is something uh, with uh, uh, with. Uh, our weather or something like this but yeah we will try to go through <clears throat> okay so um where we ended ah signal strength so you can use different different type of antennas and increase the signal strength um of the um rk unit Okay, I hope that you can see me right now, so everything should be fine. Okay, I have information from my colleague that something is wrong. Give me one second.
you see something that I don't have on my screen? So give me one second. Okay, guys, give me one second. I will try to change it. And again, give you a possibility to see the screen. Give you one second. Maybe I need to refresh it. Okay, guys, now I need your answer if it's okay right now. Okay. Thank you guys for your patience, but today, as, as, I, say, uh, as I said, I think this is because of uh, not enough coffee, at least for my uh, PC. So, um, I'm not sure where you didn't, where you stop uh, seeing the PowerPoint, but uh, in general, as I told you before, so the difference is, is 24 volts. AC and DC that you can right now connect. Um, one ampere for all, for one relay. So uh, this is a little less, but still I think more than enough for many devices um, to control. Up to uh, 44, we have 340 meters. For MPT, we have 270 meters. Uh, so the signal strength is in most cases is a little better. But of course, with the SMA antennas and additional antennas in there, you will find that up to even five, uh, 540 meters. So it should be fine um, if you want to expand the signal strength of the um, controller. Next uh, update uh, upgrade from the older versions of the receivers are KeyFob supports. So you will see that uh, maximum is up to 340 users or 340 key, uh, key fobs but right now you have a possibility with the new rk uh, to 1024 and uh, this is cool. almost free time more than uh, you will see in the previous one so it should be quite enough for the for example for the big company like our um you can use our also PC to configure everything inside the um, receiver. I will show you that in the few moments, how to do it. Of course, you have possibility to use external antenna. And uh, one thing that is also quite interesting, we increase the amount of time that you can use, that you can control the mono outputs cut off time. So you have right now for um, 36, uh, 3600 seconds so it's this is quite a lot also quite important part is that you, we are uh, back compatible with all the older versions of the key fobs so you will see there p2 uh, p4 that's something that you won't find anymore in our uh, production but still they are on the market the same goes from the MT mpt 300 that is still not not uh, produced anymore but Yes, it will work with this device. Okay, guys, and I will right now go to the next page of the slide. Slide is telling me, please confirm that you see everything, What I that it's, it's changed. Um, okay, so um, we implemented also with the new RK uh, radio, uh, we have new chipset with the, uh, the SDR chipset, so it gives us better uh, sensitivity if uh, we are talking about the receiving the information, but also uh, we increase the inference immunity inside this chipset. So this helps us to be more uh, working more properly uh, with um, hard environment situations. And of course, uh, yeah. In many cases, this also increased because if you look at our previous one devices, they are quite old. They have more than, I think, 10 years or something like this. And of course, technology inside um, radio transmission move uh, forward. OK, so on the right side, um, on the right bottom side, you will see uh, four relays. All of them have a possibility to connect uh, NC and O at the same time, so you can use this information uh, both ways. And of course, one ampere, 24 volts DC. Um, 
Yeah, and of course it depends how, uh, what type of RK uh, receiver you choose. 1K have only one, uh, relay four have four, etc. There is additional L, uh, LV output that uh, give us information about um, a low uh, battery from one of the key fobs, but also indication of the arming, disarming, and alarm clearing. This is something that you can use to send information from uh, um, RK receiver to siren and have the information that the system is armed or disarmed. Uh, the, of course, this is the information uh, like chirp or the beep inside the security system. Next slide. Uh, SS output is um, uh, also ENS. Uh, this is output for the 500 milliampers. So in here you connect uh, siren. If you see in here, in here you send this information to uh, to panel, for example, to have information about it. In here you will have information uh, sending to uh, siren about it, or to, for example, for the additional light. So you can use this also for controlling the lights. Uh, at least as the system is armed or disarmed. You have tamper switch that you can connect to your in, to your security system if someone try to open uh, the box. You have AR input and uh, AL input. This is uh, also working with LV and S uh, outputs. This is inputs uh, for information about the status of the alarm. So if there is alarm in the system or not but also uh, information about the status if the partition is armed. So you connect to AR uh, um, arm status and to A AL you con uh, connect alarm status in the system. So output as the burglary, for example. And then from the um, RK receiver, you can control, for example, siren in this case. This is something that you can find in the older version of the security systems, but also this give you possibility to uh, install this device closer to Siren, where you have better signal strength uh, from outside of the building, not inside. And then, of course, you are able to control Siren from it. As, we to, uh, as I talked already about the power supply, so up to 24 volts AC, DC. And of course, you can use to control the system from 12, from 12 DC. OK. So as the key fobs, uh, 1,024 key fobs can work with uh, one unit. Of course, you can assign. Uh, Every single key for uh, every single button um, to. Okay, one second, guys. I see again from my colleague that you won't see anything right now. Give me one second. I will try to turn on again. There is something wrong today. Okay, I hope that you see right now. Okay, so. In here was we was talking about the power supply, uh, IR input, I, uh, AL uh, input, about key fobs. So 1,024 key fobs. Every button uh, in every key fob could have different functionalities. So for example, in one key, key fob, you press I don't know uh, first button and it will trigger second output on the receiver. But also you can different uh, key fob could, for example, control the same button, control the first output, and you can configure it as you like, as uh, as you feel. So this is something that uh, previous versions of our uh, receivers didn't support, but right now you have full, full functionality. Um, of course, if you use a um, software, so you, if you are using PC to add new key fobs, then you can set a pattern and every added new key fob will automatically use this pattern so it speed up your configuration in general. So of course it supports all the key fobs, new ones and old ones. And of course there is a uh, encryption of the communication between these devices also there. So 
the programmation and in here I will go a little bit more um, technical so give me one second I will check if we have yes we have three different types of um, um, three different types of modes how the every single relay separately will work you can change it by the jumpers on the uh, on the device and you need to do it uh, manually so in this case <clears throat> i will show you something first of all my face and after it i will change for the okay okay so in here you have different types uh, different uh, short um, uh, pins um, maybe i will move it a little bit as you see we have the different types how they work uh, the modes how they work there is added few uh, four different uh, leds in here just for you guys to see uh, how it works so if i wanted to first of all if i want to add give one second i will move it in here maybe it will be better so if i want to add uh, key fob manually so first of all i add a power supply as so uh, this in this case i use a battery for it because it's easier for me and if i want to add the button to or key fob to the system i just press programmation button you will see that it's blinked so if i pressed one give one second ah, now if i press the button like this one, I need to do it twice. So if I use right now this button, one second. No, right now. So if I pressed one, this was the first pressing. I will do something like this. This will be the second one. And right now output works. So this uh, output, as I remember, is set for the five seconds and is mono. So if I press the one time, it will turn on. So the cutoff time is five seconds, so it will turn off. If I uh, want to add second button, doesn't matter which one it is. So I press button one, the first one, first time, then the second time, and then uh, I can control it. And this output is set to uh, mm, uh, pulse mode. So as long as I press the button, that long uh, this output will turn on. If I just use the short one, it will be short. If long, long one. And of course, I can do the same thing with the next okay button. The first time I present my key fob, the second time I present the key fob, and this output works as the B stable. If I give a signal, it's turned on. If I give a signal, it's turned off. So I can program uh, any way as you like the uh, key fobs and the buttons, and I can arrange them as, as I like, as I prefer. So different key fob could have different information in there. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. Um, so you have three different types of how they should work, but this is not all. You can connect, again, I will come back to preview. You can connect our, our, uh, our um, RS USB uh, cable connect it to the module so right now i should have in communication i will just turn on the application okay and i will show my screen okay so right now you can see that i have rk soft this is software that you can that you can download from our website of course this is uh, free of charge and you can use this for the programmation of the, the of the device. So first of all, of course, if you already install any uh, G, uh, GSM, GPRS, A, or X unit, or 
for example, Perfecta, the how the mm, software looks is almost the same, different colors. So in here you have possibility to choose the COM port or turn on the COM port, download information from the uh, receiver, upload the information to receiver, and then of course options. In here in connection you choose what COM ports for my in my case it's COM5. I connect to this device. Okay, I have serial number version of the uh, of the firmware in top on top. Of course, I can change the name of this device. I will download all the configuration from the device. Okay, I can use a password if I place in here some kind of password. Then I have a possibility to uh, restrict access by using the um, PC for it. Also, about the security, in this case, you have possibility to disable programming using controller buttons. So if I mark this option, the buttons on uh, RK receiver won't work. So you won't be able to add a new key fob or assign uh, buttons from the key fob to, uh, to unit, to receiver. Of course, in here, I have information about the output from one to four. The mode is set by the jumpers. So monostable poles and b stable three and four i can change the cutoff time as uh, to up to 3600 seconds of course depends uh, as i like but i leave the five seconds and of course i have the status of the leds and etc etc also you in here you will see that if i press the button there is information about reception, the status of the output changed, but also I have the last received key fob transmission. This is key fob number one with the name. In here, I didn't place the name, but it's here. And then you have serial number and code one. So the press, the code one means the button one, and of course, serial number of the key fob. So I can find who is the last person that used this. In the key fob list, as you see, I already have one key fob. This is the key fob that we added a few seconds ago and assignment to different device. Also in here that you see MPT uh, symbols like open circle, close circle, etc., etc. But also in the bottom, you will see um, um, colors of, um, of, the of the buttons on T uh, key fobs. T-line key fobs, so in here you have all the information. Of course, if we go there, you, we have a serial number name that I can use to describe who was the last user, uh, who is the user of this uh, key fob. I can assign, for example, um, buttons in here, but I can, for example, assign not only one button, but I can, for example, assign, uh, sorry, a relay to um, this button, like all relays or two relays or as a as, uh, combination as I like. In here also we have battery low. If uh, this key for last transmission send will be sent with the flag that there is a um, key fob uh, that is battery is low then in here you will have this information but also on the output will show up and in here i can set the pattern so default configuration so right now if i add new i will just say send this information to uh, rk unit let's give him a second okay and then let's add new key fob so in this case i just take new key fob as you see in here Press a button. Yeah, the first time, the second time, key fob added, read data. Yeah, so I can press next to add new one, but of course I can just press OK in this case. And as you see, it used the configuration that I have from the, the default uh, key fob. So it's easier if you want if you need to add like uh, 500 different key fobs. It's easier to add all of them, you know, just by pressing. And of course, I can change the name of it. 
for example, from my colleague that uh, answering all your questions. <clears throat> okay, so then I can save this information. And right now, if I press open, uh, open uh, square button, I will turn on all of them. And of course, one more time to turn off the uh, B switch. Okay, and this is how you manage your users or the key fobs in the, in the system. And this is quite easy with the um, how to program. Uh, in general, RKU receiver are quite easy to use and uh, there is not too many options in here to play with. So it's, yeah, it's, it should be quite simple. Alrighty, so let's come back to our presentation. <clears throat> and with this, we can do, go to our new products. Um, next product that I want to talk about is MRU 300. This is very interesting small little device well maybe not that small but very interesting so this is device as the repeater for 4 pre pre megahertz system this this device is able to retransmit all the communication that goes from the detectors like mfd mgd mpd etc etc so that you can find in uh, perfecta for example or micra um, detectors, but also KeyFOPS MPT350 MM and MKP300. Uh, this is for the Micra keypad. And this device is quite a little bit uh, interesting because this is also will work with um, RK unit receiver if you, of course, you are using MPT350 um, KeyFOPS. <clears throat> so Quite interesting part in this case with this device is that, one second, okay. If you open it, you will see something like this. And even you will see that this is, we are using this, in this case, this is the, uh, still a pro, uh, this one is prototype because in technical department we are testing them, but you will see that we are using 230 volts to uh, give a power supply for this unit. Of course, I don't, uh, please don't use this type of connection. This is wrong idea because it's not compatible with any kind of security system, system requirements. But in our case, it works uh, in technical department when we test these devices. You will see in here, radio transmission, uh, transmitter, you have seen in here tamper, battery, and of course power supply. So in general, if you want to use a retransmission from this device, you just plug in the battery and then you give a 230 volts um, to these units. And then in most cases, it's ready to go. It will retransmit every single uh, information from the devices like uh, detectors, key fobs, and in, the key, in this case, wireless keypads MKP300. Uh, so from for the Micra. Um, so if you require this unit to be able to transmit to retransmit, for example, for Perfecta, you are ready to go. Of course, there is LED status in there. There is a tamper on board uh, that you can use, and uh, there is also protection against uh, protect uh, power, uh, power circuit short circuit and but, uh, battery, backup battery. Battery work uh, is able to sustain the power supply for more than 24 hours of work of this working device. So it should be more than enough for many, many solutions. So in general, if you plug it in to power supply and give it a battery, this unit will, help, uh, will retransmit all the information. But very important part, if you want to receive any kind of information about the trouble from this device, like uh, no AC or uh, low battery or tamper information, you will need to add this as the detector inside the device, inside the panel, for example, Perfecta. 
then he will receive all the information uh, from uh, from this device about the status of device. Okay, uh, one thing very important. Please remember because sometimes uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, remember it wrongly. But please remember that this device don't retransmit uh, devices that have two-way communication on 4.3.3. So keypads and the sirens especially MSP300 for the Perfecta, will not be retransmitted by this device. It's a very important thing, but rest of course the device will be available as you saw the list. Okay, so MPD310 and MPD310 PET. This is our new device from uh, uh, for uh, perf for for free free communication wireless communication device uh, detector, as you see, it looks almost the same as um, our slimline, and you are right. The cover, all the enclosure is exactly the same with all the uh, new functionalities like no screw um, a cover uh, with the LEDs and the um, mirror inside in here, but also the way how you remove the, all the PCB and uh, the sensor from the cover, um, tamper on the back. If someone tried to rip off the detector from the wall and of course in, for, in place of the battery. And then you have, um, safe pins, etc., etc. in here. Also, because we are using new type of um, um, lens, we also needed to change the sensor. And this is the new sensor uh, um, with the better algorithm and uh, sensitivity, the same as you see in the all uh, slimline detectors. Of course, there is also LED. They uh, work only in the blue. They are only blue. So this is the one way how to uh, check what is the, the device. And yeah, this is how you can and all the features uh, that have also in a plus ver uh, the slim version you will find also in here. Please remember that w this is the two types of the detectors uh in here because because the pet technology the pet implement uh, pet implementation the functionality of the pet needed uh, we require different type of lens and different type of sensor a little bit so that's why we are using two different uh, types of detector not like the old apd uh, mpd 300 um, they have uh, just a jumper in there this is new sensor, new lens, so you will need to uh, have two different ones. But also with this goes that quite interesting part in this, that you can use different types of uh, lenses. And that's, for example, you can use a long range lens and of course curtain. So this type of detector will work as the, uh, for example, can work at the curtain or long range. But please remember only MPD310 because PET had different lens and you can't use a curtain or long range lens for it. Um, okay. And of course it works on the same uh, power supply. Uh, so the same battery, CR123A, three volts battery. And um, there is also a, a bracket, bracket D for this device. Next, next, hmm. Not device, but next thing that we added to our uh, as the, our products is new bracket bracket E. This is something that was asked for us uh, by many dis di distributors and clients because they needed to move opal detector, for example, like this, farther from the wall. So we needed to create something like this. And because of it, there is a different types of uh, many different parts of this bracket E. You will uh, mostly they will be used for uh, Opal detector and Agat detector. Of course, 
AOD to 10 also works, and AOCD to 60 also will be able to use this type of bracket. And you will see that there is a many different types of brackets. So I will try to show you all of them. This is how it looks when it's already um, connected all each other. So you will see uh, the part that is responsible. I will take this one, yeah. This is a little bit like Lego. So this part, this is uh, bracket E4. You have all of them in two different colors, uh, respectively for type of detector. So this one you mount to the wall. Um, this one, uh, bracket uh, E3, this is the separation. You can use up to, well, I do it wrong, wrong way, one second. Uh, like this, yeah. You can use up to five of them. So you can move this quite far from the wall. Mm, yeah. And of course, you can screw everything together by the additional screws. So this is quite, uh, it's not flexible, it's quite stiff. And then on the end, you put and this is bracket E1 at the ending. And then you can connect, for example, if you want to use with this type of detector. So Agat, you are using this type of plate that you can put in here and mount the detector to it. Of course, Opal have different ones. You have this one uh with the uh, ball on the end that you can connect that you can place the opal differently of course it doesn't matter you can put it on the ceiling you can put it on the wall doesn't matter which way you wanted to mount it and of course every part of it is uh, ordered separately um so you can make it a long or short one depending how as you need on site very important part is also that uh, you have a mounting for a uh, tamper on the wall. So if someone tried to rip over the detector with mounting, of course, uh, the tamper will be triggered. All righty. Uh, yeah, and of course, two colors that you can use with this device, with this uh, bracket device. Okay, let's go back to presentation and as i remember yeah correctly this is all uh, our new devices we prepared uh, more devices uh, to be showed up on um, and starts producing with this uh, today or la last week but sadly covid 19 block us to to release them but no worries soon will be available uh, i hope in the next uh, few months new devices so uh, okay i see there was some kind of questions uh, so let's go there and see what i can say about them how quickly does mru retransmit alarms uh, the retransmission is very very fast it's a way i like i as i remember it should be few milliseconds. It's five milliseconds. Give me one second. Um, it's something like few milliseconds, so the amount of time of the retransmission is very, very low. Uh, and of course, it's repeating uh, this information. More in, uh, more, um, the, in the terror, ter um, ter um, how it works, so if you use the same key fob, for example, if you press the key fob and hold it, so this is the same one information sent many, many times, the unit is able to acknowledge it and only send once, not all the information all the time. So this also decreased the amount of transmission um, on the on site. 
so the um, the amount the retransmission is uh, delayed slightly by few uh, milliseconds um, no uh, you can't have uh, several temp templates but you can switch between them so if you for example first three key fobs you add as the templates let's say then if you want to add new detector then uh, sorry new key fob then you can go mark new template and use it uh, this one with, with the adding new one so yes in in some way you, yes you uh, you could have uh, several templates but only one at the same time what is the battery life of the tech of the detector approximately of course it's uh, the same as uh, roughly it's the same as uh, mpd 300 so it's from two to three years depending on the place uh, placement of the detector and of course uh, safe also eco mode inside the detector so there is um, uh, many different uh, things that could be increasing the uh, amount of battery life or decreasing it but in many cases two to three years so it's the same uh, so what is the wireless range of mpd310 uh, when used with perfecta wrl i think um, it's up to 600 meters in the open area so this is almost the same is exactly the same as you are using any other uh, detectors I think it's even 100 meters more than um, older version of the detectors, MPD-300, uh, for example. All righty, guys. Any, quest any more questions? If not, uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, it was, all, as always, a pleasure to see you all, guys, and giving you new information, uh, especially if we are talking about uh, news uh, in our company i'm always very happy and uh, yeah so thank you very much again thank you Wukash, for your time and helping me with the chat and i think see you soon stay safe bye bye